Hey guys, Rocky with Wild Edge Outdoors here again. Say this is going to be a little different video from the last several. Um, taking a break from the <laughs> camper and going camping. Um, as you guys probably saw in the last one, my wife and I needed to talk a little bit and uh, in order to give her a little bit of space to do some thinking, um, I decided to finally go on my little trek out to the coast. So that's what I'm doing today. Got a little bit later start than I intended. Um, I was going to leave early in the morning, but it rained all day yesterday, so <laughs> I didn't want to pack in the rain. So I packed this morning, and it's about midday, and I'm heading out, so I'm not going to make it to the coast today. I get there just after dark, and I just soon not do that. So I'm going to find a place to camp somewhere in Oregon. I'm not sure where. We'll see how far I get. But I'm going to be using this uh, iOverlander app. It shows all kinds of different campsites and what kind of campsite they are as far as like if it's a wild site or if you can put RVs in. And then people give their their reviews on it too. And so that's, that's my plan for the whole trip is to use that and see how well it works. Sorry for the shaky footage. I've got a, uh, a GoPro suction cup mount on the windshield and it worked great last trip but now for some reason I can't get it to connect really solid so I'm sure it's shaky as heck but I'll see if I can't work on it sometime in the trip. I've already had this unscheduled stop. I must have stepped in some kind of dog crap somewhere along the way because I'm driving along and all of a sudden having this terrible smell and <laughs> I get out of the truck and look at my shoe and it was just coated. I don't know where I could have picked that up. Got out, cleaned it off, and all good now. So I uh, just south of Sandpoint now. I uh, use my GPS to plan a route. Don't have a lot of confidence in it because a lot of times it uh, it tells me to go somewhere for no rational reason. Um, I usually end up getting where I'm trying to go, but sometimes it points me in a real roundabout way. So it could be interesting. So it never fails to amaze me that uh, I get farther west than Spokane probably about a half hour west and I find this place that looks like I just jumped back into the Midwest. It just, it's just crazy. Well, I've been on the road for about three hours now. Um, oh, and just so you know, I'm going from Globe, Idaho out to uh, the Oregon coast. I'm not really sure where yet, but uh, I'm not going to make it there the whole, the whole way to the coast today. So I'm looking to stop somewhere around Wood River, Oregon. See if I can find a spot there to camp for the night. Still in Washington right now. Just filled up with gas. Of course, it's one of those things. I just got a new credit card from my bank. Used it for the first time, and the pump rejected it. So I'm a little nervous about it. And it turns out everybody was having the same problem. There were probably six of us in there having to prepay with the credit card. No big deal. So I'm back heading west again. All right, it looks like we're uh, gonna be crossing the river here pretty quick. So I found this place on uh, I Overland, the app I was telling you about, and it's called Mamelus Overlook. It's uh, supposed to be kind of like a pull-off. I imagine it'll overlook something. I'm about a mile away from it right now, and it's kind of cool country here. I don't see you can see it. It's uh, orchards and vineyards and stuff. You'll see it as we come in. In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the left. Well, we've reached our first destination for the night. It's just outside of Hood River, and this is a uh, Emelus Overlook. Let's walk down here and take a look. Pretty sweet spot. I just hope nobody kicks me out of here later on tonight. But I'm kind of hungry, so I'm going to go and eat something. And I'll uh, show you my truck later. I got it kind of set up for doing just this. So, uh, yeah, I gotta eat something. I'm hungry. 
Now since they're still light out right now and there's nobody around, I'll show you a little bit about the truck. Um, you've seen it in other videos. You can see it's this 93 Toyota. Gold. But I've put a lot of a lot of money into it. And it's got a new motor in it, it's got 250,000 miles on it this turn. But here's what I did in the back. You can see it's set up for sleeping over on this side over here. Got a nice sleeping pad on here. And this this actually folds up if I wanted to, but I've got these bins that they just come out. See my bins come out here, they fit, they fit right underneath. This one's for food. Got another one under there that's for this over and you can see I got this little compartment here. That's my camp chair and I've got an awning underneath there. And I got another, another compartment right up there. And that actually has my sleeping bag and another sleeping pad in it. And I've got my little kitchen area set up here. See here I've got uh, my, it's my little cook stove right there, got my pans right here and some utensils, got up these little drawers that are coming apart, I gotta glue them back together. And then up there, these are sliding doors and I've got actually some electronics up there so I can plug in my computer. And over here... switch here turns on these lights here Let's see if you can see that and of course now you can see the uh, rod racks there I've also got a USB port here so I can plug in my phone so that's about all I'm going to show you right now because like I said I'm hungry I'm going to eat something and just try to relax a little bit I don't know if I'll be able to relax real well, just since I don't know if I can be here. So, we'll see. Oh, well, it was kind of a long day today. I think I was on the road for six and a half, seven hours, something like that. Luckily, it wasn't too cold. Not too cold. It wasn't too hot, because I don't have air in my truck. But it ran good, it got me here. Now I just need to have something to eat here, relax. I think I'm only like three hours from the coast now. So, I'll probably end up getting up early tomorrow and heading over there right away and trying to find a spot. I can't wait to get to the ocean. I don't know what it is. I just love being on the cold. That should about do it for this episode, unless I wake up in the middle of the night and feel like talking some more. <laughs> we'll see you next time.